Morning, it's the 1st of April. Bemused where uh, March went. Um, it just sort of flew by, didn't it? Didn't get a lot done either. I mean, we've started drilling on some light little sands, but anybody who got on in uh, February, I thought they were jumping gun a bit. Uh, but yeah, they did their uh, job right, didn't they? Because it'll be nicely established now, and uh, I was it still in bag. Uh, it's time it was in, really, and land's wet. Just having a paddle across this. This is for uh, fodder beats, so this don't want drilling for uh, at least three weeks, I would say. And uh, yeah, it's quite wet. So there's no land work today. I thought if we could freshly plough some stuff and uh, and have combi straight behind him, we'll maybe get a couple of light light fields uh, in with spring barley. But no, it's a no, no. We'll have to be patient, but. So, but uh, yeah, quite frightening how weeks go. I mean, February was a real dry one. March was a real wet one, wasn't it? So, we've been actually quite a busy week, one thing or another. We've, there was an online, well, there was a, yeah, an online auction, York auction centre. And we ended up buying, well, quite a bit, a bit of stuff, to be honest. Um, all sorts of gear, really. Out your seas for sale, to be fair. Apart from my dog. Well, maybe I'd maybe consider a good bit. But this uh, little beauty over there, well, I think he's a little beauty. It's an old KRM, six metre power. And uh, seems fairly tight. I mean, look, someone's welded tines together um, which yeah if you've got time I suppose I would have done a little bit better than that I mean I reckon that how they've done it could sort of create a bit of vibration in, in rotors but anyway everyone to the road but no we're going to have a we're going to give it out for a day because everything turns we haven't had a tractor on it yet but everything turns manually should I say and uh, it seems fairly tight. There's a bearing gone on one at Packers. Packers only small, that's my own concern. I think on our light sands, it'll bulldoze, but time will tell with that. Whether I try and find, if it's a success, I'll try and find two uh, crumbler rollers for it, heavy duty crumbler rollers, and sort of a winter project, get, get them slotted in. But I didn't give a lot for it. And I think for a bit of power in we do, it will, um, it'll be fine like, but I don't think we dare put the big tractor on it. I think, I think it'll suit the Magnum to be honest. It's 96 and the Magnum's 96 and I think it'd be a right combination. It'll look fantastic. You know, dual, get the duels on the Magnum and let her have it. Um, that's the plan. Oh, oh 650 will under it, I think. That's 650 class Harry and it'll, uh, It'll lift it with weight block on and uh, turn it piece of piss, I would say. So yeah, quite pleased with that. Oh, but listen, oh, my dad was, when my dad come into, yeah, oh, bloody hell, I ploughed thousands of acres with one of these. Odd, odd, uh, odd um, crawler plough, a deep, a deep crawler plough. And my dad reckons if you get that uh, buried into ilt, you'd need a fairish crawler, you know, like 70, 80 horsepower crawler crawling along to uh, pull it. But yeah, it's all complete. I don't, I did, I, I dread to, I, I, I don't know how to age it. I would say, well, I never asked my dad actually. I reckon 40s, maybe late 40s, but it's all complete. Make a beautiful garden ornament or something, uh, or uh, at a, you know, a, a, farm, a farm gate or something like that, painted up with some flowers around it. But yeah, totally complete. She's a beauty, ain't she? A three metre power, if anybody wants one. Coon, three metre. That's a nice power, we might have a man for it, might be off to France. Might be off to France, believe it or not. We've got to ask the question today. That cattle are very vocal this morning. Ready for their barley. Shifted some sort of stars in here, what we're gonna finish, a few sort of bigger ones and 
these are on a ration of uh, hay and ad lib uh, ad libs ad lib barley so nice cattle in there there's one with some real funny overs though is it you yeah i don't know my dad didn't notice it mark it and his bloody hooves are really grown whether he's been on soft growing soft going or his hooves are um uh, grow really fast, I don't know, but whether we'll have to get do foot doctor to him, I don't know. And then there's some just a few stars here, these are can't fit them in that other yard there off to grass. We've got more stock on this year than we ever have. What with Erifords and that, I don't know exactly how many. I'll guess at about 120, which is a lot for us, really, at the moment. I mean, like I said before, my dad. When he was in his heyday, bringing him out of Ireland, he used to uh, have about 500 on. This is those cattle everywhere. You know, in makeshift yards and one thing or another. But they were a lot hardy. You could have him in, you could have him in like an outside corral because there were a lot of Hereford Angus stuff come out of Ireland. I'm talking in the 70s, before my time. Left. So, right, but I got a few jobs done, on not I? Pigeon patrol. We just noticed last night our rape is getting absolutely fleeced with um, with pigeons uh, I think ours is maybe a little bit behind everybody else's and theirs is flying away and ours is struggling so they can still sort of fall into it like but yeah it's a good strong plant but it can't seem to get going at every bit of leaf it seems to produce the strip off it so we've got a gas banger at that end and we've I'm going to put a gas banger at this end so and see if we can keep the buggers off these are temperamental bloody things, are they? We've never had a good one, really. What's what's reliable? I mean, we you hear people's right gas on. This is a little test button. Yeah, we've never had a good one. In fact, I always think if anybody, we don't. Bloody hell! It's like gassy. Christ! Well, it's got rid of them, hasn't it? Look out of the roost. Christ, that was really letting some gas in. I think we might back that off. Yeah, we've never had a good one, really. They've always been very unreliable. In fact, I've always said, gas, back gas off. I'll give it another go. I think you come away. She ain't gun shy anyway. She I didn't bother her. I know she ain't a gun dog, but. Yeah, they've always been real. I don't know whether it's the sparks or... This is a bit vicious, this one, though. Hopefully all the time we're in the... And that works. And the light sensor and one thing or another, because... Oh, they do wow around here and all. Christ, I bet we get complaints over that, either. People walking down canal or that house over there. You know, we'll get. Uh, it won't be. Uh, it won't be a knock on door or a phone call. It'll be. It'll be wowing on Facebook. You know, them keyboard, keyboard warriors. You know, you know what I mean, don't you? Ain't got balls to see to your face or say out to your face, but they can. They can. They can type it and uh, and press send, can't they? Oh, you dirty little shite! No, 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 no! Go over there. Go over there. doing all right as well huh? she's um, actually starting to settle down but chill bloody hell you couldn't leave her in here you oh, look at my glasses you couldn't leave her in here because she'd come back and it'd be like a foam pit she'd have had a, she'd have all upholstery off seat and there'd be just a, a, a wire carcass of a seat or gear stick gone you know she's uh, like that but now she's becoming a very very good dog very very clever very clever yeah we think dogs got adhd we really do it's just i don't know it's just got that much see it's just bizarre some of the things it does because you know, we weren't doing 50 miles on that one innit christ i just noticed someone sent me a thing on uh farming influences I didn't even know I was an influencer and I've ended up 15th on the list among like your obviously your Ollie blogs, your Harry's farm, your Adam Ensign, all them all them what but I just put a bit of farming on it on YouTube and uh, try and make it quite light-hearted and uh, and real and 
she wants to come back in now. And uh, I've ended up number 15 on, hey, come on dog. 15 on to on list. So whoever, whoever voted or whatever, however I got there. Um, yeah, thank you very much. So right, stay in now. Yeah, our rip. It's doing all right, but it's just struggling. I mean, very, very strong plants, but no leaves on it because the pigeons are just stripping it. But it'll be fine, it'll be fine. In fact, in months time, you won't even know what we're bothered about, really. Come in, better pull that window up before we get going, Anna. Well, needles are in place. What do you think? Shafts up here. Well, is there a box? Have a do, Oh, gosh. Just uh, pass that shelf. There's an mashed up in here. Oh, the bill looks as straight. I would say that straight to me. I would say this is straight to work. If electrics are a bit mashed up, they can do what we did on our old one. Pipe it straight to rams for tension and have a pressure gauge. Yeah, Phil's just brought this new Holland 10, a D1010 in. And we've looked around it. I tell you what, there's no wrong with it. I mean, we're gonna put shaft on it after, t after uh, we've had a cup of tea and uh, give it a good turn over but i sort of know about we run one of these back in the day well it was our first big square baler we had it was a d1010 and to, to be honest i bought it unseen out of wheels and the welshman told me sort of all sorts of bloody rubbish to sell it and it was an absolute bag of rubbish and then we got the um, the heston 4755 which was a brilliant baler um it still is i met the fella who bought it the other day he sort of uh, hardly heard us. Hey Richard, I bought your baler. And, uh, and he says it went faultless. I did a thousand bales for him last year. So, And then we bought that uh, that new one, that in Fergie colours, which yeah, it'll do us for a lot of years. But no, there's nothing wrong with that, I'll tell you. But we'll, we'll sort of get her going and service her up and see what's what. And we're a man in trade what might take it. Um, whether I retail it, I don't know. There'll be more money in retail in it, but... Just bung it into trade and then someone else has to put up with it. There is things wrong with it when the guys go to the field. Or I'll sell it by what you see, you know, sold us soon. But it won't be a lot of money, I'll tell you. Just want to say thank you very much to my mate Denzel for sorting all our farm taps out. Cheers, pal. Last job Saturday afternoon. He's already... Phil's going to pick this lot. And they've had this on its side, so... Luckily, no damage. Oh, apart from a little bit of a bend on a boom. So, well, we just cripple this up a bit. Don't think there's any other damage. Oh, maybe a bit here as well. That's gone in there, but a lot of spray for what happened. We'll add a bit of it, going it off. To do what? 
So all he wants to do is that. So we put that wood to get, you know, because metal on metal it'll slide, but wood on metal sort of grips and digs in sort of thing. So what we're going to do, I think, is, well, as long as we've got it off the deck. in here and he's safe in there but what we'll do we'll just slow it down sprayers hedge cutters are terrible to move yeah is there a plate on it to see how old it is I mean now these are the modern valves I think I mean, booms have had a bit of a knock and she's a bit cankered up with green but there's no rot you know, I mean Adi's, Adi's uh, uh, paint want the best anyway but triple nozzles is there a, a thing? I would reckon about 2005, six. Then we've bought this, well, two. A tariff uh, for a uh, two row tether and a chrome two row tether. And I think mechanically they're very good. Well, time will tell when we get them on a tractor. Um, but. There was a lot of stuff at the sailors, uh, second hand dealers. You know, your new men. Oh, your new men are get, getting rid of all that trading stuff what has laid stagnant in the yard for a long while and just clearing out whether to raise a bit of funds or just to make space, I don't know, but... catching this week's been a bit lean I don't think we've caught one well we haven't caught one because Mark's testing our sprayer and put that new pump on so yeah his last job on a Saturday afternoon he's one of life's heroes he looks after our sprayer oh bash he's a bit strong he's mucking here this is where we put compost through these pad uh, passages and you can smell you can feel the ammonia so yeah, I want some more in really, and then probably end the next week we'll come out. And there's probably a trailer load in here. So these pigs are massively growing. Crazy, you can really watch the buggers growing. Doing really well. Right, that's it, Saturday afternoon. I want to Beverly for a pack and a meal. So yeah, right. If you like this channel, like and subscribe or whatever you do. And uh, do two a week. Right. Bye, my name is Yorkshire. Bye for now.